Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate to you how to use cruise control on the BMWs. It's really easy. This is, by the way, an active cruise control system. Uh, so you have your uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buttons. So this is a multi selector uh, button, by the way. With this button, you can turn it on and off. It will say active cruise control because this is a car equipped with active cruise control. So this is on off, this is resume. If, you, if you're driving and you suddenly brake and uh, you want to resume your speed you were doing, you press this one. Set sets the speed you're currently at. So if you're driving 110, the cruise control is ready and you activate it like this. Uh, it will uh, be ready to, or to maintain its speed. With this button you can um, increase the speed by one up or one down, but if you press it fully you can change it by a 10 digits times. Then you have, and this is only uh, for the active cruise control uh, functions, um, the functions with the distance. So this is the closest uh, distance and you go further further away from your uh, your car ahead of you. So if I release the brake, it's currently now in, uh, in uh, drive and it's braking for me now you can see but I'm in front of a wall but it recognizes it at a, as a car at the moment so uh, sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but it's an immovable object object so the radar will not uh, activate uh, the car uh, into forward motion so you can uh, change your uh, distance with the plus and minus button if it for a uh, for uh, some reason you say uh, I don't want to use um, active cruise control anymore you just hold one of those buttons in and it goes back to normal cruise control but I think you have to keep your brake pressed to deactivate it so there it goes distance control deactivated you can do it without pressing the brake only when when you're in motion so and you can reactivate it again like that so now it's reactivated again I have a few clips that I made earlier so I can demonstrate it to you guys. So, uh, hey guys, I'm stuck in traffic here and I'm uh, using my uh, active cruise control to uh, just uh, drive along in traffic here. So, I got a few tricks if you like uh, to know. If you, there's also auto start stop on this uh, car, that's the button over there. Now, sometimes when you come to a stop and the auto start stop is kicked in and you just don't want it to kick in on that moment I have a few tricks you can do so after a while um, the active cruise control will cut out the power like that but you can reactivate it by pressing or just uh, wiggling the steering wheel pressing the minus plus buttons uh, stepping on the ga gas of course accelerator that's the only negative thing you have to shift up for a while now it goes back into D there it goes so we'll come to a stop again I see a stoplight it will maintain the, the distance to the car in front of me and we'll come to a stop I'm not touching anything but I wanted to be quickly in uh, into uh, if I wanted to, to cut out the engine uh, faster I just press on the brake while it's standing still already and it will still maintain uh, the brake and maintain active cruise control but it will uh, be quicker to stop the engine so that's a good tip also you can activate the engine by wiggling on the steering wheel I can show you that in any in a moment and the light is green I will do it you can also maintain a longer auto like this there it goes so if the auto start stop uh, it was initiated, you you have to press the accelerator again if the car in front of you moves. So uh, it's a safety switch that you don't forget uh, you're driving, still the driver. So now we're driving again. And I'm gonna catch up to a car in any minute now. And it will uh, maintain uh, its uh, distance. Also with these buttons you can adjust your uh, 
distance between the car in front of you and if you press them long it will deactivate the active cruise control but you can reactivate it with the distance buttons there it goes it sees the car even in a bend and it will maintain its distance so I pressed for a longer distance so the car is really braking hard now it will maintain a longer a larger distance if I set, press on set it will immediately go to the speed I'm cruising at now so if I'm now I'm doing between 55 I press again and it goes to 56 um, this button is just to quit the system if you have to uh, coast it out or something and you can always press resume to go back where your uh, little indicator was standing and you also have a dual mode you can press lightly to go up one kilometer per hour and you can press completely true to go uh, to, to go 10, 10 kilometers per hour quicker or slower you can even break with this system if you pr press this long enough it will break I think it's 0.1 G or something so I will try to approach a car now with a greater speed than mine maybe it will react maybe it doesn't Let's see. there's a Mercedes right in front of me doesn't so there's the visual warning that was the phase one if I uh, didn't break longer I get an audible warning and a brake assistance so but you don't want it because that's really close it's really not a system that's always helping you you have to not take it for granted there are a few tricks uh, you can uh, you can do with this system. It reacts to uh, it really. There's a Kafas camera up inside of this, if up in a, up inside a mirror, and which recognizes an object. Meanwhile, this is a wall and the radar uh, radar uh, radar sensor up in the front bumper, and those two systems will communicate to um, to see cars in virtual 3D. Let's say. Yeah, sort of. And the cool thing is, um, or uh, it it anticipates a bit, but it's still a computer. So if you, if a car is in front of you and it's going 90, but you set your speed to 120, and it goes to the right to the slow lane, it only begins to accelerate when his rear wheel goes over the white lines. So. Uh, the the CAFAS camera will uh, recognize those white lines and it will adjust uh, its it will only uh, accelerate when it's over the white lines also uh, crossing traffic it recognizes and also when you are going out of a slow line your your um, your a car is up in front of you at in 80 or 90 and you press your left uh, stock it will uh, accelerate to your desired speed already before you're in your lane already so it will already begin to accelerate if the distance is far enough of course it will always have a fail safe uh, the distance is actually when you're going below 60 kilometers an hour it's uh, calculated in seconds like this is one second distance or two seconds distance this is uh, four this is eight and this is ten or eight, twelve so this is a really long distance uh, speed distance if you're on the highway really long even uh, the smallest one is pretty long people always say to me uh, why do you set it always at the at the slowest one uh, because it isn't that dangerous well it doesn't matter because the radar sensor only detects a, a car from 250 meters so it's the same if it's on this one or this one it will only and it breaks it, uh, it will always uh, calculate the speed difference so if the difference is greater than that it will really break hard even in this mode so uh, it doesn't matter, really matter also the speed is limited to 210 in the newer models you can get a bit higher I guess I, uh, I, if I remember correctly so let's put park and it goes off you also have these buttons those buttons are for my um, lane departure warning no it's uh, lane change warning sorry and lane depart um, that's the accident avoidance I guess front end collision warning yes with with brake uh, intervention so uh, and this is the lane change warning yes I didn't get a lane departure warning but I'm willing to code it and install a button here 
So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh